thing about being back on lithium is that I have that post nasal drip again and I have to wipe my nose every like, 10 minutes that was gone on the micronutrients and the workshop I went to yesterday was a two day workshop but I missed day two which is today but it turns out that there is an online course of both of them so I can do day two so I'll probably do that when I get back not one other thing I wanted to talk about I don't remember I remember the other thing I wanted to talk about which is I felt so brain dead at my business course today super brain dead And there's an assignment next week and my brain is so slow. I can't think of anything. I can't remember anything, which is kind of how it goes. I want to set up a structure where I don't have to think or recall anything, but just be creative. I don't know what else to do. So hopefully I can do that in the business. So today is the day, the day I do holotropic breath work, and I'm a little bit nervous, I'm hoping it doesn't open up a can of psychotic worms, but I want to give it a try, at least, and last night I kind of had to pee while falling asleep. And I didn't get up, and then I felt like I slept really lightly, and I was dreaming all night. And I had a dream about the holotropic breathwork, and that I showed up for it, and it was in an underground parkade, and all the parking stalls were really dirty, but they put down mats, like blankets or something, but then they, some people had exercise balls to put their feet up on, and then other people just had clear bags of garbage, like a big bag of like recycling or something like that, like paper products. And then I showed up last and then I started doing the breathing and then I had to go to the washroom and I thought I almost went a little bit and so I went to the washroom and then there was some like poop in my underwear and I was trying to clean it off and into the toilet and it was yucky and then I realized there was no door on the stall and then that was weird of course and then I went back and I don't really remember the rest but yeah I was in the dream realm last night for sure And then I had another dream about this place. I don't know. Not sure, really. And I probably won't get to record any of the holotropic breath work, but I'll probably do some journaling afterwards, and I'll at least know if it worked, if it did something, if it did nothing, if it's something I want to do more of in the future things like that. So that is cool. 
Yeah. And I got my Seroquel Quetiapine. If things get a little bit too bonkers, I'll just pop some of those bad boys and I'll be right back to dreary and drowsy. And last night I took two Seroquel. I didn't take um, three. And that could have been another reason why I slept lighter. But I do want to get off this Seroquel at some point. I've been on it for over two weeks. At least I'm not having to take any during the day. I've only had to do that once probably in the last week. So yeah, good luck. All right, so holotropic breath work, day one, which was yesterday. I didn't get a ch chance to talk to myself. It was, it's hard to say for sure, but I think it was kind of life altering. The night before, I took two Seroquel to fall asleep with the same amount of lithium and trazodone. And then last night, I took one and a half Seroquel. So it seems like my body is allowing me to take less Seroquel, which is good because I find Seroquel makes my brain really, really, really slow. And when I was at the intro info session of the business course, I couldn't think of anything. And I was doing these worksheets and I was just kind of making stuff up to look like I was doing something. But some of it was true, but it just wasn't really deeply thought out. And I'm not really the greatest at thinking and recalling and remembering. I'm better at creating, I think. So, yeah, but the breath work was really cool. I, I really liked it, but it's hard work to do all that breathing. So I'm supposed to go today, but I was just talking to the facilitator and um, this morning I had a splitting headache, just so painful in here and I tried a cold cloth, I drink water, I drink a little bit of coffee because I didn't have any yesterday. I had some Advil, I had some crackers, and then I was sitting there and it was so painful and then it felt like I was going to throw up. So I'm not one to throw up at all. And I went to the washroom and I threw up all the little cracker and a bit of coffee and water and everything else. And the facilitator said that that could happen, that I could get a headache, that I could feel nauseous and things like that. And that's exactly what happened. And it woke me up kind of early. And yeah, so I was just talking to the facilitator about whether or not I should do a session today. Um, we're kind of leaning towards a no, but we didn't get to talk about all of it. And I would kind of lean towards no just because I feel tired. I didn't have the best sleep. I was awake in the morning for quite a while before I got up and I had that headache and I couldn't go back to sleep because the headache hurt way too much. And I don't get headaches, so it was really painful and it's still lingering a little bit. But I take all of this as a good sign that the session had some kind of effect and my body's um, getting rid of certain energies or something like that. So it's kind of cool. It is music, kind of like psychedelic, upbeat, house, tribally, ethnic type music and it's enjoyable. I like that kind of music. So part of me was laying there smiling and I laid there with a blanket and 
pillow and um, an eye mask. And then I was doing the breathing, which was kind of how I described really quick in and out all the way. And I was doing it for quite a while. And then I was kind of thinking, this isn't doing anything or I don't know if this is doing anything because I was breathing for quite a while and then so I I think I stopped breathing and then there was this really pronounced but like really quick energetic vibration or tremor in my body like in my spine area and I've been feeling this tremor this is what I've been talking about with this energy moving in circles that feels like it's grinding in my energy field but it was like really quick and very obvious and quite energetic and that vibration kept going on while there was this process going on in consciousness and it started with energy sort of at the lower part of my body and there was like stuff coming up related to that and then um, stuff related to some trauma and and showing me stuff and the facilitator said one tear shed in a an altered state of consciousness is more powerful than say like a thousand tears in regular state and that's not an exact number or correlation or anything but just illustrating the point that what happens in an altered state of consciousness is more powerful because the psyche is doing whatever it does. So it's not about analyzing it or anything because it's not really a linear analytical thing that's de devoted to the rest of the time of our days in life. So it was cool. I didn't really see anything otherworldly or like see any images or anything. And I guess that's not really what was meant to happen for me. And maybe I'll talk a little bit more what happened, but it's hard to remember. But it was kind of cool because I was laying there and then I was feeling the vibration and it was sort of telling me that once this process was over, that would be healed. And so then I started to like smile and then it's, there's some emotions that came up around certain events. And then I was like, I cried a tear. And then I was smiling again because I was like, wow, this process is cool. And then I was like, I started crying for like 30 seconds maybe. And then this was something that was interesting was at the end of it, at the end of that process that happened when I stopped breathing that first time, it probably went on for, I don't know, I'm going to say 10 minutes. I'm not sure. And right at the very end of it, it said, and you're going to commit suicide. And it didn't scare me. I just opened my eyes and I was kind of laying there like, okay, am I going to commit suicide after this or something? And then I realized, I can't remember if I realized after, I think I realized when I went into the second event that that's sort of what happens when I get to sort of like the peak of whatever in a certain eight or eight and a half month period of time and then everything drops out so it's like peak of wonderfulness and then there's a process that happens that ends in me feeling like I might end my life so it wasn't anything new so then I wasn't scared of it because I saw it as the end of that process because that's what happens at the end of this process that I experience anyway so I also didn't believe it because it said you're gonna commit suicide and that's not language that I use it was it was something else and then when I went into the next one after breathing again um, I remember it said that I'm going to die at the age of 74. And I don't know if that's true, but I thought, well, that's, that's not bad. That's a pretty decent length of life. And who knows if it's true or anything, because 
in so-called psychosis, the, the mind sort of says certain things like this is going to happen or that might happen or this, blah, 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 possibilities. And who knows what is true. I sort of stopped believing all of that. And that's another reason why when it said, oh, you're going to commit suicide. And also it didn't necessarily mean now because it was something that was coming up in mind. Like maybe that was coming up in order to heal that sort of thought or meme that I sometimes experience. And yeah, and I'll try to remember more of what happened. It wasn't a ton. Part of it, I was sort of just laying there enjoying the altered state of consciousness. And I opened my eyes one time and I looked and there was light through the eye mask and I was sort of enjoying the dance of light and it looked kind of 3D, like it was dancing to the music. It was kind of cool. And... Yeah. So I'll, I'm just waiting for her to call back. I wish I had more to report about it. But it was pretty powerful because I was sort of breathing and thinking, I'm not sure if this is working. And then I stopped breathing and it's like, Phew, I was in this powerful state where I was like paralyzed yet vibrating and processing all this psyche stuff that to me felt like exactly what I needed to process and if I don't have a session today I will have one on Saturday and I could always come back another time and and do it again and like I said I'm just kind of tired so I don't want to spend all that money if I'm not completely up to it so yeah, I'll end this for now because I have stuff from the other day and yeah, it's totally cool, holotropic breathwork. I'll be more sold on it or not sold on it after next session and that could be another reason why it's better not to do another session tomorrow, today because if it doesn't go as good because I'm tired and I had a huge headache and I threw up and ugh, then I might think, well, this isn't the greatest. Whereas if I wait till Saturday, I might have a better experience. <coughs> and as I'm talking, I feel like my throat is a little funny from throwing up, like that nastiness in the back. That might make it hard to breathe. <laughs>